everybody. This is Barbie with Jeannie's Designs. Welcome to my channel. This is a mail opening. So I don't know if I'll release it today or I'll just do a conglomerate. Depends on how long I talk, honestly. So I already have some of my Black Friday stuff that came in. Uh, it's amazing somehow some of these vendors ship so fast. And one of them is Zipper Valley. If you haven't ordered from Zipper Valley, you really should. She has some great stuff. She doesn't have huge amounts of things, but uh, what she has is really good. He, she, I think it's a couple. I don't really even know for sure. Um, but they ship like same day most of the time. So I just ordered a few things. Actually, four things. Mm -hmm. Um, I had previously gotten some, let me see what this is. This is Whispering Foliage Water Resistant Canvas. I had previously gotten some of this and fell in love. Look at this gorgeous stuff. This is Water Resistant Canvas. Isn't that, I'll open it up and so you can see. Look how beautiful that is. It's very subtle. Um, and I think, I don't know if it's, um, I don't think it's any more than 400 in here. It's nice and light, which I really, I really like for the most part. Let me, I'm trying to get it one. Yeah. So very nice, but look how beautiful that is. So I got one more yard of that because I love it so much. Stunning. And then um, she also sells it in the Dayflex. This is interesting. So they put um, how to care for it on here, which is really nice. So this is Dayflex. It's kind of like a uh, Lux Bonded Nylon. Same thing, pretty much same thing, but it's the same fabric, just on that different uh, fabric base. You know, it's kind of funny, because when you find um, a fabric that you really like, you don't want to miss out I don't know if you're the same way, but you don't want to miss out, so you buy more than you probably should. But this is just one yard, so I have one yard, uh, actually one and a half yards now, of the um, water-resistant canvas in this whispering foliage at Zipper Valley, and then one yard of the Dayflex. I know. Then I did get, and this is uh, Kasaya's fault. So Kasaya, if you're watching this, it's all your fault. She ha she was using some of this, and this is also from Zip Zipper Valley, uh, Leopard Water Resistant Canvas. And it's the 400 in there too. I really like it. I love this um, thickness of water resistant canvas. You know, do you really need waterproof canvas for bags? I don't know, probably not. But water resistant is fine and I love that. So that's the Leopard, oops, so sorry. The Leopard from Zipper Valley. I don't know, I haven't checked if they have it in stock still or not. And then um, this is I'll Take the Check. 600 denier water resistant canvas in the check. So this is a little thicker. Um, but it's not too bad. It's 600 denier and it has a different feel to it, but look how pretty that is. So yeah, that other one is 400. This is 600. Yeah. And you can tell the difference. Um, so she was having a big, uh, um, Black Friday sale, so 
I tried to be very frugal what I what I did do on Black Friday. So I didn't get too too much. I did get some stuff from um, Simply Classic. <clears throat> some of her basics. So I didn't even bring that in here. Anyway, I'd opened that already. And I already opened the... Because she was having 20% off. And Chris at Simply Classic hardly ever has sales. So it was worth it. Now, I did get two packages from my friend Louise. And I haven't opened them up. So let's see what she sent me. Louise, you spoil me completely and totally. Mm -hmm. So here's, this is one package. So it's not huge this time, which is, okay, good. <coughs> Let's see what it is. Two, it's rolls of vinyl. Oh. oh my gosh. It's, um... Looks like crocodile. Pink shimmer. Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty and it's got a kind of a white fabric fuzzy. So it is not stretchy at all. Let me just stretch it this way. Yeah. Not stretchy, which I like. Very pretty. Very pretty. <gasps> Louise. Mm. I think these are all. These are all that, just different colors. Here's a pretty kind of pearlescent. Isn't that pretty? Again, the kind of white fuzzy back ring. Mm, mm, mm. And here is a red. Look at that, look how pretty that is. That is really nice. I, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking what I can make. And one more color. Oh, ooh, a beautiful teal. Isn't that gorgeous? So uh, there's no note in here. So I don't know um, when these are going to be released. But you can go certainly go check her website, samfabriccreations.ca. She is a Canadian company. And um, see if they're out there now. They're gorgeous. They're croc. Shiny, shimmery croc. Very, very nice. Thank you, Louise. I'm already in my mind pausing and thinking. Oh, I can't get it back in there. Um, what I can make with this. I wonder if the, I don't think the print is too big for a purse pal and a Jordan set. Maybe the large Jordan and a purse pal. Mm -hmm. You know what this would be really pretty too is a dog collar. You know, I, yesterday I just released that dog collar video. These would be really pretty in a dog collar. All right, she sent me another package. Here it is. It's a box. No idea what's in here. It's an advent calendar box. It says, let it sew, let it sew, let it sew. Let me open it up and I'll show you the box. Oh my gosh, the box itself is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. But it says it's an advent calendar, a unique advent calendar. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Okay, let me see what it says here. Oh my gosh. It tells 
shows you what's in here on the back. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna open, I'm gonna see see what it tells it tells you all that that's in the back. That's in the box. Louise, how thoughtful of you. You know, Louise is one of those people that is just the kindest, kindest person. And Louise, I am so grateful that you are feeling better. I am so grateful. You had a long, rough patch, and um, so I'm thankful that you're better. All right, let's see. I don't know if they're each individually wrapped. Do I dare just open it? Look at it's all got a little bow. It's like opening a present. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, it is an advent calendar. And each thing is numbered. Oh my gosh, look at this. So each thing is numbered. So it goes to 24. So what is today? Today's the third. So I could open one, two, and three. Shall we? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Here's number one. So here's number one. And it's got, you just pull it out of the box and it's a pair of scissors. It's a nice pair of scissors. Look at those. This is an advent box for sewist. Let it sew, let it sew, let it sew. I love it. All right, let's do number two. Number two. Let's see what it is. It's um, clips. White and gold clips. A little baggie of clips. White and gold, clear and gold. Look at those. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. That's number two. I love it. I'm not going to open any of these early, by the way. So, what we will do, we'll do a quick snippet every day until the end and open them. But I'll go ahead and open number three. Okay, you ready? Number three. Uh, you know what this is? I think this is a threader. Yeah, it's a needle threader. Oh my gosh. It's a little needle threader. You know, it's funny. I'm going to try that on my machine. My my Thor, I don't have hardly any trouble threading the needle, but I do sometimes on my fabricator have trouble threading it. So, so if you look here, you see what pops up? I don't know if you can see it. So you th I think that's what it is. I'm almost 100% sure. That is nice. I'm gonna try and use this on my fabricator and see how it goes. I hardly ever do any hand stitching anymore. Do you guys do a lot of hand stitching? I don't, but um, three things already. Oh, Louise, thank you so much. I mean, I love it, and I am going to enjoy each one of these things, and half the fun of an advent box is uh, waiting and opening each day. So the first day was scissors, the second day was clips, uh, you know, wonder clips, and the third day was a little threader. 
So tomorrow I will come back and we'll open day four. Isn't that fun? Louise, the vinyl, the alligator vinyl is gorgeous. I'm gonna make something here soon with that. And um, this advent calendar is so nice. I didn't buy one this year, so you uh, read my mind. Look at this. Look, look guys. 24 days of sewing stuff. And they each come in a, here, I'm, I'm gonna try and show you. They each come in a little box that you just pull out. So there's the scissors. And then here's number two, the uh, clips. And here's number three, the little uh, threader. Should I look at, no, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna peek. But you can't, if you just look at it head on, you can't tell what's in them. Now on the back, it tell, it does tell you everything that's in here, but I'm not gonna cheat. I didn't really look at it all, so I'm not gonna cheat. This is from H. A Kid and Company Limited. Here it is right here. So if you want to go see if they have any more left, I bet they don't, but that's where it's from. Oops. Oh my gosh. And the box itself is beautiful. All right. That's all I have for today. Um, Louise, you spoil me completely rotten. Um, I appreciate you to no end. And, um, Last year, I did uh, a bunch of uh, little videos on small things, but Sonar is doing it this year, and then Kasai is doing it this year, um, so I decided not to do it this year. Plus, you know, we've been so busy um, with everything going on, I just decided not to, not to do it this year. I'll do a bunch of live videos, though. So, tomorrow is sewing live with Lori from Wild Pony Designs. She's gonna be on here on her way down to the Keys with her husband. So I'm so excited to meet her in person. I'm gonna get to meet her husband. And we're gonna sew the Diane tomorrow. This is one that I have made already. So this is the Diane. This is a uh, wax canvas. It is a cute, cute sew. So it's a, it's got um, a flap with connects. This is all leather right here, wax canvas and leather, but it connects down here on this D ring. And then you open it up and you have a zipper on the inside, slip pockets on the inside, and then a zipper pocket that is under the flap, which is perfect size for your phones today. And then the unique thing about this pattern is the uh, twisted strap. This is leather too. I am not, we're not, I don't think she's gonna do it, but, and I'm not doing the twisted strap tomorrow, but I have a video on this. It, this is a cute little bag. It is for sale on my website. The one I'm gonna do tomorrow is gonna be for sale on my website. But look at this. The Diane, and if the Diane crossbody. This is a Evergreen Threads pattern, I believe. Yeah, Amberly at Evergreen Threads. Very cute. You know, wax canvas is pretty in. Look how, look how good my camera matches. So all the accents are real leather. This is real leather. And this is not an adjustable strap, but it's a pretty long strap that I extended because I didn't have one piece of long leather. This is what Lori and I are gonna to make tomorrow. Now, we both have done a little prep work, so I'm gonna give you just an idea of what I'm doing with it tomorrow. I'll show you the strap. That's all I'll show you. Here's my strap for tomorrow. Look at that. That got caught, didn't it? Hmm. There we go. But this is the strap. Does that give you any idea what colors I'm gonna use? 
antique bronze. That's what I'm doing. So that's tomorrow, and we're going live at 10 a.m. Eastern. So come join Lori and I tomorrow. I don't. She's going to sew on one of these machines. I don't know which one she's going to choose. It's totally up to her. Whatever she prefers to sew on um, will be her choice. And we'll both be making the Diane. So thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow live. Bye-bye. Have a great day.